So here I have a TKDMR model TD2B I got off Amazon and watch what happens when I turn it on. So it's going through its startup mode. There. The voltage, as you can see, the voltage is wrong. It's about 180, and it should say about it should say exactly 300. Um, this happened. This device stopped working uh, shortly after I started testing LED strips with it, and I don't believe I did anything wrong with it. I just was testing LED strips, and it stopped working. And it stopped working the first time I started testing the LED strips. So I decided to take a look inside to see why this number no longer says 300 because it's supposed to be able to test uh, LED strips up to 300 volts and as you can see it only does what, about 180. Uh, it, it, it varies but yeah. So I'm going to turn it off and show you what I found. Don't forget to unplug it. The back snaps off. Uh, you can go along the edge with the knife. Just be careful not to slip and cut yourself, of course. Okay, now if you look inside here at the circuit, what I found is that these two resistors in here are burnt out. And these two resistors, right near the uh, positive terminal here, let me see if I can, okay. Let's get really close. Okay, that's R25 and R24. Those are the two resistors that have fried, and they're in parallel, and they're resistance. I couldn't quite read the numbers because it's burned so badly as you can see. Uh, it, you can see the black here and, and it's, it's cracked. Both of them are cracked and, and, they're, and, and the stuff came out. Anyway, I believe the number says 621 but it might be an 8 to 1 which makes it yeah, actually I think I think I think this part's missing I think that it really is an 8 to 1 rather than a 6 to 1 but maybe someone has something less burned so maybe they can leave it in the comments and tell me what this value is I believe it's 8 to 1 <clears throat> which would make both of these resistors uh, 820 ohms. Because they're in parallel, these two resistors that burnt are in parallel, um, and because they're uh, 820 ohms, uh, you can take half of 820, so 820 divided by 2 is 410, and so you, uh, you can replace both of these resistors with a single resistor bridging from here to here 
actually since this is connected here you can uh, bridge bridge it from here to here with a single resistor of about 410 ohms well I have a single resistor that I can uh, bridge I'm not even going to remove these two resistors because I tested them with the meter already and they are open they're they're they're, they're, they burnt right through. They're, they're, it's like they're completely disconnected anyway. So I'm not even, I'm not even going to disconnect them. Uh, I'm just going to put a bridge from here to here, and uh, with a uh, about around a 410 ohm resistor. Well, I don't have a 410 ohm resistor, but I have something else. I have a lot of these little resistors, and there it is. And as you can see, it is a, a four. I can't. Okay, yeah. Four seven zero. Four seven zero ohms. Uh, four is yellow. Uh, seven is purple, and brown is a uh, one zero one placeholder. So we got four seven zero. So I'm just gonna. I know it's supposed to be four hundred and ten ohms, or thereabouts. But I'm sure this. I'm sure it's not all that specific. So I'm just gonna use this one. And because it's larger, a lot larger than these. I don't believe it's going to burn through anytime soon. As you can see, the size difference there. Now to unscrew it, they just put a couple screws in here. There's a screw there and a screw there. So you unscrew these two, and then you unsolder this here and unsolder this here. I've actually already done that. I just looped them on. So I'm going to unscrew it there, unscrew it there, and then I'm going to take the circuit board out, and I'm going to bridge it, and then uh, we'll see if this thing works again. Okay. As you can see, I finished the soldering job. And I bypassed the two resistors here with this much larger watt resistor that should work for a very long time and not burn out. I ended up uh, soldering it to a hole right next to the wire here and I just uh, put a wire across here and soldered that to the resistor. So I bypassed that with this 470 ohm resistor. So let's plug it in and see if it works. Three hundred, it worked. Now, let's see it light some LEDs. Yep, works fine. Back to 300, it didn't burn out. Alright, I hope that this video has helped you out. And uh, have a good day.